Hey, good afternoon. My name is Tom Binsfeld and I represent Progressive Aerodyne out here on the west coast in uh, California. This is the Sea Ray, a two-place amphibian built by Progressive Aerodyne, a factory located in Florida. Uh, this aircraft here is powered by a Rotax 912S, 100 horsepower. Austrian. Mm -hmm. Yep, beautiful. Yep. Number one engine manufacturer in the world. Um, this is a uh, fabric uh, covered wing aircraft with a fiberglass hull and with retractable landing gear that's electrically actuated. It's not, you know, you don't think of it as a same thrust as a pinch or an extra, but it's an amazing experience. So this is actually like the only one. How much, uh, what's the cost of? This aircraft is available in kit form as well as certified aircraft. Um, as, a, as a kit, you can build one to get, uh, yourself. Uh, complete for about sixty-five to seventy thousand mm dollars, -hmm. and certified aircraft start at one hundred twenty-five thousand, and up to one forty-four for uh, you know all the bells and whistles. A fully loaded aircraft. Okay. What's the unique stuff about the design? How, how much you can fly? Well, this aircraft, this aircraft is uh, you know has a five hundred pound useful load. Uh, cruises at hundred miles an hour. Burns five gallons an hour of auto fuel, oh. uh, so it's very economical. And uh, and if you build them yourself, uh, you can maintain the aircraft and uh, and do the do the uh, annual inspection on it. So it has a nice advantage there. Um, the aircraft is capable of uh, taking off and landing in 400 feet, uh, either water or land. Doesn't make a difference. It uh, gets off the water real quick. And. Uh, comfortable and waves up to 12 inches. So, can you go around? Sure, absolutely. So uh, these are fixed. This is a this is a wing float. It's there just to stabilize the aircraft. It it, it floats on the hull like a boat. Have a rudder, no, it just has an air rudder, which is plenty has plenty of authority for for control on the water, and um, it has a stall speed of uh, 35 miles an hour. Hmm. Can we take a look inside? Absolutely. It's got a nice wide uh, cabin here. It's 40. It's 44 inches in width. No, uh, it's, it's as wide as a Cessna 172, so two two big guys can fit in there, uh, really nice, nice and comfortable. Dual control. Yeah, and plenty of storage there for a couple of good-sized duffel bags. So it's, even, it's comfortable enough to fly cross-country cross with it. I'm taking one to, uh, not this one, but I'm taking one to Florida here on Monday. So.